Hey guys and welcome to the 13th video in this series. Today we'll be getting started with uh, our GUI programming. So this is a section where we actually start building our GUI programs. All right. So in order to get started, we're going to need to install think we'll, yeah we'll be installing one uh, module right now and that will be the PyQt5 module so it's pretty simple to install uh, what you'd have to do is to go to your command prompt in my case I'll be using PowerShell I already have um, PyQt5 install but to install you simply type in pip install and PyQt5 and you just press enter and it should go ahead and install so as you see it's showing that it was installed already so that's one way um, the thing about it is that if you're getting an error when you use pip install and it's saying that pip is not recognized, uh, you might need to set up your Python um, your Python modules um, in the in the environment variables. So it's pretty simple. If you're on Windows, you start searching for variables. And once you're on this window here, you click environment variables. Then you would go down to system variables and you will find path. You highlight it and you press edit. After that, you click new. And then what you do is put in the path to your, to your Python um, folder. So in my case, mine is in drive D, but default it would be in drive C. So wherever your Python folder is, you can create two new variables, one for the Python folder and one for the scripts folder inside the Python folder. So that way, when you use Python commands in any folder, then it should work. Okay. The next thing you should know about is that the documentation for PyQt5. It's a very good, um, what we call, is a very good reference, yeah, to have up. So anytime you're lost, if you see some type of uh, function that has been used and you want more info on it, you can always come here. Um, there's a lot. You can type, start typing into the quick search and you can easily find what you are looking for so once you have your your pyqt install you can go over to pycharm or whichever ide you're using use the console and just quickly check if you can import py QT5 and ensure that it's capitalized just as it is there. So capital P, Y, capital Q, T, and then 5. And if you get no errors, then you are ready to go. Okay, so if everything is set up and you're ready, then um, the next video we will be doing a simple a simple GUI program, actually the simplest program you will be doing, just to see how, uh, how just to see how we can get a, a GUI program running uh, on their platform. So, you know, we'll be starting from simple programs, and just to get you comfortable, then we'll go to more like intermediate programs until we reach the advanced programs right so i uh, look forward to you in the next video